Hey guys, what is going on? My name's Tyler McNabb. This is my dad's Honda TRX 450R, and this is my Yamaha YFZ 450R. So, we are out here at round number five of the Extreme XC series in Bloomfield, Indiana. The Patriot is what this round is called. So this is a track they've ran before. I've never ran here. They let it rest last year, um, but a couple years before that, they had ran it a couple times. So um, looking forward to trying out a new track. I've never, like I said, never been here before. So should be pretty interesting. Um, they said uh, they've got a pro hill at this one and then a downhill rock jump. So at some point we're gonna go find those. I'll try to make sure I take you guys along with me, but we're all good there. So from my last video if you watched it where I put the oversized tank on the um, PEP easy pull clutch line and then my vortex stuff so I told you if you wanted to see uh, what happened after that you should come watch the race vlog uh, with the vortex stuff well unfortunately my vortex has not shown up yet it said it was out for delivery today but even by like my delivery notifications i still haven't got a delivery notification so um, it's a good thing i didn't end up hanging around waiting on it because i'm not sure when exactly it's going to be delivered so uh, we're sticking with the original vortex um, uh, and we'll just have to settle with not getting a whole shot this weekend, unfortunately. But um, anyway, so uh, that quad is all ready to go and all that stuff, which is kind of nice because I don't have to mess with it or anything. I did also play with um, the TPS sensor a little bit yesterday, um, messing around with it, seeing if it was where it was supposed to be because sometimes that can cause some issues. And when I, I believe where you're supposed to have it is 0.69 volts to 0.68 or sorry, 0.679 volts to 0.681 volts is where you're supposed to have it for stock. And then I know like BNR, they recommend um, 0.689 volts is where they put their vortexes at. And so when I checked mine, it was at like 0.686, which is pretty darn close. Um, that thing is very finicky when you go to mess, mess around with it. So um, I went ahead and bumped it up to 0.689 for when I do get the BNR vortex. Um, uh, and it'll be ready for that, but it's uh, all good to go now. So we'll be rolling with that and uh, I guess we'll have to that'll be in a later video. So Anyway gonna go out and uh, do a little bit of track walk and hopefully find that pro hill in the rock jump see where that's at and uh, Overall it should be a good time. So weather is beautiful It's like mid 70s and sunny right now. So it feels amazing out here um, tomorrow. It's supposed to be uh, like low 80s and sunny as well so it should be pretty good. Um, out here in the field, it's pretty uh, pretty dry, a little sandy almost. So we'll see uh, what happens when we get into the woods, see how uh, dry it is in there. I'm hoping that it'll be like, I don't think, I, we got a decent amount of rain at the beginning of the week, so I don't think it's gonna be dusty in the woods. But then out here, um, right now this is all grass, so it'll take a little bit to get dusty, but eventually it'll probably be dusty. Um, towards either our race or even uh, slowly after our race so we'll figure that out tomorrow but for now I am gonna head out and uh, do a little bit of track walking so I'll see you out there Okay guys, well we're out here at the first pro obstacle. We have the downhill rock jump. So here you have it. You guys probably can't even see it on camera, but let me walk up to it. As you can see, there it is. So we're up on top of it. Um, they haven't quite finished cutting up quite yet, but the line goes that way. So I believe they're probably gonna take this little tree out right here um, right in front but other than that I mean it doesn't look too bad it is kind of sketchy a little bit coming down this way because you come in from up here and it's a decent bit of a downhill but as long as you come in and kind of angle that way aim that way and hop off you should be good because the go around goes up over and around that way so it'll probably be a pretty decent time savings let's uh walk down to the bottom of it real quick so, come over here. As you can see, it's a pretty decent rock ledge drop. Um, 
pretty good size. I mean, well, if I stand next to it, it's probably, it's about at my chest. Eh, not even quite my chest, probably my stomach, stomach chest area. So it's probably a good three and a half, maybe four foot drop. Um, so not terrible, but honestly, honestly, the sketchiest thing is probably going to be um, just making sure that you get angled this way because you know they're definitely gonna have to take that tree out but you're gonna have to hop off and make sure you're kind of pointing this way so that you don't slide down into that tree or anything which they may take that out i'm not sure they said they hadn't quite finished cutting it yet so um and i see and honestly the time savings may not be huge because you're gonna be going kind of slow because there's arrows right over there you guys probably can't see but it looks like it just goes down the side of that hill right there and then ties back in and the track goes left. So honestly, not sure if I'm gonna hit it quite yet. Um, we'll just kind of see. If we were going like straight or something, well, wow, I didn't even see that. If you look over here, there's a big old rock face right there, so definitely can't go that way. Um, but yeah, so a little sketchy, but not too bad. We'll see. Um, We'll head over to the Pro Hill. I was actually at the Pro Hill first, um, but they're still cutting it in right now. So um, I was going to give them a little bit of time, but I'll probably head back over there and show show it to you guys. It doesn't look bad. The only hard part is there's a lot of this property looks like it's very rocky. As you can maybe see here, there's a lot of like little rocks and stuff. Not little, but, you know, maybe foot in diameter kind of rocks and stuff. So uh, we shall see. Um, exactly what's going on so i'll head back over to the pro hill and uh, show you guys that okay guys out here at the pro hill you can probably hear some machinery going they actually got like one of those big uh logger machines uh clearing out old trees and stuff i'm guessing they just logged back here not too long ago but uh they're clearing out a path up to the pro hill and i am currently standing on the pro hill so where that uh guy in the side by side is and where this that uh logger machine is now that's where you're coming in just around that stump down there and you come right up through here and this is honestly the hardest part of the pro hill there's kind of a little bit of a face right here you can either go straight up on this side but there's some nasty roots right there or the main line will probably end up being right through here which really it isn't too bad um, just a little bit steep so you hop up here and then head all the way up to the top of the hill and so um, it shouldn't be too bad I don't think um, you got plenty of run so just getting up here should be pretty easy and the only thing you should have to worry about up that way is uh probably just some of those uh rocks and stuff so other than that i don't think this pro hill should be too bad um all right now i plan on hitting it unless i come up and there's a bunch of people stuck on it or something so shouldn't be too bad uh i'll probably uh, plan on hitting this and then right now we'll see about the rock jump um, if I go by and people are hitting it, then I'll probably hit it. If not, uh, I'll probably hold off and just take the go around, be be safe, because I'd rather uh, ladder, rather play it a little safe than uh, end a race or something. So uh, with that, uh, I'm going to go walk a little bit more of the track, and uh, if I see anything interesting, I'll uh, film it. But otherwise, I will see you uh, either later tonight or sometime in the morning. So see you then. Okay guys, it is officially Saturday morning. It's actually like 11 o'clock already. Um, I was out filming highlights this morning and totally forgot that I didn't uh, say anything this morning. So, we are pretty much ready to go, I believe. Got the YFZ all ready to go, topped off with fuel, which hopefully we should be good now with that oversized tank. Got, um, took the quad out for a ride uh, Thursday night make sure the clutch was adjusted i actually didn't even have to adjust it so that's really nice um but yeah that clutch pull is so much easier so if you have a yfz look into a pep easy pull clutch arm because they are sweet so anyway um looking at the track and stuff it's looking pretty good these these some of these parts of the fields they haven't been dusty yet we'll see by the time it gets to our race it may be um but the woods is looking pretty good um not tacky or anything but just uh nice and smooth with a little bit of moisture in the soil so should be pretty good on that front and uh yeah right now the plan is for the race um planning on hitting the pro hill and then the rock jump i'm saying at this point i'm not gonna hit just because it's a very high risk and a very little reward kind of situation whereas like pro hill pretty decent risk but the reward is really high 
um, with about a minute savings on the go around. So um, definitely gonna hit the pro hill. Um, rock jump, I'd maybe only save 10 seconds and so just, just not quite worth it. So the plan is won't hit that. Um, but yeah, we should be good to go. Um, so like I said, been out fi filming highlights and stuff, got some of those. Uh, I gotta go get some youth after this and then after that we'll be getting ready uh, for the race. So uh, I'll see you guys, uh, enjoy some highlights real quick and then uh, I will see you guys uh, right before we head up to the start line. Okay guys, well, we are all suited up in our light fly racing gear. So I'm ready to go on a little bit of a warm day, not too bad, it's like mid 80s. So uh, the, it's kind of cloudy, sun's going in and out. So as long as the sun stays behind the clouds a little bit, it won't be too bad. Um, but yeah, we're ready to go. Youth got a little bit of a late start. Um, uh, they were having some scoring issues. But uh, so we're, cause right now it's 107. And we're supposed to start at 115. But as you can see, youth's still racing, so it'll probably be closer to 2 o'clock by the time we start. But we are all suited up, quads up at the line, ready to go. Uh, so at this point, I guess I will uh, see you guys up at the start line. Here we go, guys.
down, ride my race.
Well, made it back home. It is actually Sunday morning because last night after the race, Saturday night, um, I was tired. I was dead tired. Um, that was a rough, very rough race, and uh, I was just exhausted. So decided to wait till Sunday morning to do my outro, and uh, yeah, so here we are. So quick uh, summary of the race. So as you guys saw in the highlights, had a rough start to the race. So got a decent jump off the line, was going into the first corner, third or fourth, I think. Um, and then it was partially my fault, partially the other guy's fault. I think I checked up a little bit too much maybe because I didn't want to go um, too fast into that first corner because if you didn't, if you guys didn't know, there was a ditch on the far side of the start. I definitely didn't want to blow that corner or anything. I was probably being a little bit too cautious. Plus, the guys in front of me were kind of checking up. Well, the guy behind me, he came in hot as all get out, and he just shoved his uh, front tire, as you saw, right in here. So his front tire got stuck right here. I didn't know it at the time, and so I tried to take off, and I think it made it a little bit worse. It shoved the tire down in there, and so I had to end up getting off, moving the back end around while he was pulling the front end around. Luckily, my dad was right there, too. He was helping. Another guy jumped in. Um, all kinds of fun stuff. So, got a rough start. It was roughly 25 seconds from the time he rear-ended me till the time I took off, so definitely not what you want right at the beginning of the race but unfortunately it does happen that's uh, racing so took off on the first lap and i knew i was down and so i started riding really hard and it was kind of stupid of me i was riding over my head i clipped a couple trees i blew some turns just stupid mistakes and uh, that cost me a little bit of time but um, hit the pro hill every single lap. It it wasn't bad at all. I never did hit the rock jump um, But a couple people said uh, it wasn't bad when they hit it, but I don't think a lot of people were hitting it so Hit the pro hill was running a pretty good second half of the first lap. Not too bad And I uh, came through in third place um, And I was 11 seconds back from second place. I'm not sure how far back I was from first place um, but uh start was still riding pretty good not quite crazy but i was riding pretty hard probably harder than i would normally be um right at the beginning of the race and so second lap i came i was uh getting pretty good i caught second place i passed second place and i was towards the end of the first lap i could see first place i was catching him slowly 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 and by the time we came through the finish line uh, on the second lap i was three seconds behind him i could see him he wasn't uh very far in front of me at all so i was like okay i've caught up to him i've done that work now i just need to settle in and just kind of hang with him for a little bit maybe catch my breath uh, get some energy back and then uh, we'll see if we can uh, make a pass later on in the race well I think I settled in a little bit too much and I don't know if maybe I just kind of chilled out a little bit too much but then I just I think it was a combination of I probably dropped my pace down a little bit too much and then also um, after charging for two laps of probably way harder than I should have been riding the first two laps I just like I just got exhausted very, very quickly. Plus, with the the roughness of this track, track ended up being very, very rough. Lots of rocks, lots of roots, all that fun stuff. It was beating me around pretty good. Um, and then, so the next two laps, so laps three and four, my pace really dropped off. I think I was back, after the third lap, I was back like 17 seconds, um, which wasn't too bad. But then after the fourth lap, I was down like, a minute some or a minute maybe i think is some is maybe what it was and so i just it definitely wasn't great and so i i just really died that lap the fifth lap i actually picked it up a little bit the fifth lap i kind of got a little bit of a second win and i gained some time on him i gained about 20 seconds but at that point i think i was already a minute 30 back and so i had gained i was a minute so yeah so on the fourth lap i was like a minute 50 back i dropped way way back um then after the fifth lap i gained 20 seconds on him i kind of picked it up a little bit was riding a little bit harder came through saw i was a minute 30 back and i tried to pick it up but i was just at that point i was just kind of cruising into the finish i knew that making up a minute 30 uh with as tired as i was would have been a long shot and so i just kind of cruised in and uh ended up in uh, second place so not a terrible um, not a terrible weekend at all 
got me a plaque second place at round five of extreme the patriot so big congrats to charlie andrews he is the one who got a win in my class um, me and him have gone back and forth uh, let's see he wasn't at round one but rounds two through four we have been battling with each other for a good a good portion of the of the racing so it's going to be a good one uh it, this one's probably going to be one of those where as long as i can keep it together um we're going to be battling it out all year and hopefully i need to get a couple more wins under my belt so that we can take it down to the end of the year so big congrats to him he's definitely leading the points right now um if we don't count round one just because he wasn't there but um, he's gotten a couple wins under his belt, so it's going to be a fun year battling it out, and uh, I can't wait. So hopefully we will be ready for the next round. It should be a good one, and uh, round six, Insanity at the Sanatorium in Rockville, Indiana. That's going to be a good one. Um, really cool piece of property, and I'm excited for that. So anyway, not a terrible weekend. Um, like I said, the start a little bit rough, and uh, next time I just need to... Uh, strategize a little bit more maybe not ride so hard those first couple laps um, but also I just need to uh, build up my endurance I need to get some more riding in with the YFZ down the last three weeks I I did just a tiny bit of riding is all I did with uh, my dad's 450 so I need to over the next two weeks I need to uh, heal up a little bit I'm pretty sore and then uh, do some riding and uh, get this thing dialed in uh, just just a tiny bit more the shocks could use a little bit of tuning I think um, but I haven't we hadn't ridden a track like that this year where it was super rough or anything so you live and you learn we will uh, get prepped and ready for the next one and hopefully come out swinging so I want to thank you guys for coming and watching I really do appreciate it talk to a lot of good people this weekend it was good seeing you raced with a lot of good people this weekend and uh, someone I did meet, Alex Ray is his name. If you um, don't watch his channel already, go check it out. It's called Dad Speed. It is, I'll link his channel down below, but he's got a really good, um, he's starting out. I think he's got, I think he just hit 200 subscribers. So he's building his channel up. Go check it out. He does uh, racing as well. And uh, his video editing skills are much better than mine. So if you think mine are okay, you will be amazed by his. So go check out his channel as well. It was good uh, finally meeting him in person, talking with him. And uh, all everyone else that I met at the track, saw at the track, all that fun stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I really do appreciate you coming and watching. And uh, also, once again, I want to thank all my sponsors. They will They are always pictured at the end of every single video. And uh, I couldn't do this uh, this fun and expensive sport uh, without them. So big thanks to them. Big thanks to you guys. I really do appreciate it. I'll go ahead and end out this video. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.